Assalamu alaikum everyone, Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatari here, and today we're going to be talking about Sudan and the Sudanese community here in Gilba. Brought to you by The Social Studio, Qatar's premier event and social media agency. Since we're talking about greetings, typically we wave our hands. But actually what I want to do is I want to shake yours. Hey guys, what's going on? In Sudan, shaking hands is super important. Actually, if you don't shake someone's hand, it kind of means like you're not super into the conversation. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. No, seriously, I wasn't listening. So next time when you meet a Sudani, make sure you have that physical connection. Say hello by shaking hands. The Sudanese community is actually one of the first communities to set up shop, set up home here in Qatar back in 1971. And the profession that you used to have, policemen, teachers, and other, you know, civil jobs. So thank you for educating us and protecting us. It's like a, it's like a two in one. Just a little fact in terms of our currency, one Qatari real equals 12 Sudanese pounds. Yes, their currency is called the pound. We always talk about the size of Qatar and how many Qatars can fit in one of the community's country. So how many Qatars can fit in one Sudan? 62. So how many Sudanis are there in Qatar? Over 60,000. Welcome to your second home. Relations between Qatar and Sudan were established in 1972. Qatar set up the embassy in Khartoum. Now in Sudan, the official language is Arabic and they've got a second language too, English. Yes, Sudanese people, bilingual, pretty cool. Talking Arabic and English. Can they combine it? Let's try. Hey man, Shlonik, where are you? I'm gonna go over to that place, Takilik Bize. Yalla man, let's check it out. Oh, by the way, if you wanna combine some English and Arabic really easily, I'm sure you've heard this a lot. Yalla bye. A peace agreement between the Sudanese government and the Liberation and Justice Movement, a Darfur-based rebel group, was mediated in Qatar in 2011. The deal stipulated financial aid from Qatar and several other donors. Another peace agreement was concluded with the help of Qatar in 2013 between Sudan's government and the Justice and Equality Movement. Luckily, that's the past. And inshallah, peace always continues wherever possible. According to the United Nations Comtrade database, Sudan has exported $29.5 million worth of goods to Qatar. So let's talk about investment. Qatar is one of the largest Arab investors. In fact, there's a project that's happening in Khartoum called Msherab Sudan. Yes, it started by Qatar DR. It's supposed to be worth over $400 million. We've got a lot of other facts to mention over here too. So. Hassad Food, a Qatari agriculture company, signed a $1 billion deal in 2009 to lease farmland in Sudan. Also, in late 2017, it was announced that Qatar Mining Company would be investing $1 billion in Sudan. $1 billion. Also, if you're a QNB, Qatar National Bank user, there are 14 branches across Sudan. So Qatar wanted to help Sudan increase their tourism. And so, Qatar Museum set up the Qatar Sudan Archaeological Projects, QSAP. Sadly, after the massacre that struck Sudan over Eid, Sheikh Al Mayasa went ahead and changed her profile to blue. And then she urged everyone to also change their profiles to blue to show support and solidarity for the people of Sudan. So that's why you saw a lot of people go ahead and change their profiles. I know a lot of people message me asking me why is everyone's user profiles blue? Just in case you didn't know, now you know. That's also the reason why I Love Qatar changed the heart to blue. So we changed our logo to blue to show our support for Sudan. If you can show support for Sudan in any way, shape or form, do it. If it means being a voice, if it means donating, if it means trying to contribute in any way possible, do it. Everything is appreciated. One of the things that I really admired about the Sudanese community is the fact that despite they were going through some problems, they stayed united, they stayed strong, they stayed positive, and everybody was rallying behind each other, trying to do some really cool stuff. And of course, not only were there Sudanese and other many different nationalities working together to spread the word about this, but uh, of course, also our very own Faris and his crew went ahead and created a song. Here's a little teaser. <laughs> Sudan. 
Oh, by the way, someone that I really want you to check out is Asil. She goes by the name Suda Love on social media. She's a graffiti artist. Oh, yes. Not only did she grow up here in Qatar, but when she travels back to Sudan, she goes ahead and does something really amazing. See, one of the things that she wants to do is spread awareness for the situation that's going on in Sudan. And so what she does is not only get to know the individuals that are there and listen to their stories, but then she also goes ahead and paints really great murals. You need to check them out. And of course, if you want to show some love to Suda Love, don't forget to check out her social media pages. We'll have the links in the section below. Now, there's also another similarity between Qatar and Sudan. We love our swords, especially when we're dancing. There's also another similarity. When we don't have a sword, we like to make music with our hands. Actually, watch these guys. These guys are much better than I am. All right, everyone. So those were just a few facts about the Sudanese community here in Qatar and, of course, Sudan itself. Guys, if you ever have an opportunity to meet a Sudanese person, of course, don't forget to just shake their hands. But maybe ask them for some Sudanese coffee. Or how about some fulim demmes? So to the Sudanese community here in Qatar, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything that you've been doing to contribute to Gabar. And of course, your Qatari friends and the whole community here in Qatar are here for you. All right, everyone. So if you like this episode, please don't forget to like, don't forget to share. And of course, we want to hear down below, what community do you want us to do next? Oh, and let me just say, I know that we're not mentioning every single fact and there's so many other things that we all want to learn about the different communities. We're just trying to get the conversation started. So of course, down below, share some more. Ma'asalamah! <laughs>